All right, guys, update on the boat. So, the flywheel ended up taking it off. We, I had a friend, Ricky, come out and help me take it off because he had to have a special puller to, to pull it, to pull the flywheel. Or if you look at the flywheel, you got these three holes right here. So you have to put bolts in it and then have your puller pulled out. Anyways, so it was sticking, you know, and actually grinding right here. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I actually ordered a flywheel off of uh, eBay and it came in so we're fixing to put it on if you look at my old flywheel I mean look at it it's not warped but uh, it's just thrown off look how it's flush right here and then it comes out on this side I actually found the exact same flywheel on eBay for $62 I believe but look at the new flywheel it's not wore out at all so uh, I guess you know all I got to do is line this groove up right here you can see the groove on this one on the old one so I'm gonna put this one new one on and cinch it, cinch it down with the impact and uh, I'll, I'll pop the ignition and see if it uh, if it rotates so uh, uh, let me see if I can get my son to hold the camera and then we'll get this done. All right guys, so I got an inch and 5 16 socket. I'm gonna put it on my half inch impact, but I have to have an adapter here to uh, convert it over to three quarter. Uh, I'm gonna tighten this uh, nut down. I got the flywheel lined up on the groove. That groove I was talking about, you just gotta make sure it lines up. There's that slit right there and that's actually turns your flywheel you know the whole flywheel is going to turn so uh I'm cinch it down pretty tight Engage the starter is going to engage it. That's what's going to crank it. So, I mean, I don't know if I bottomed out, I don't remember how, how much I'm not going down any further. All right, guys, so I guess I'm going to pop the ignition and see if the starter engages it and if it turns. Yep, but I wanted it to do, so it's fixed. Fixed. So hopefully I can get it on the water sometime this week and we'll run it. Hopefully I don't have any more issues with the uh, with the flywheel. But I'll keep this one and I'll be looking for another one too to have as a backup. So if this happens again. So that fixes that issue that I have with the uh, with the boat. So new flywheel on there. Awesome. Ready to hit the water. Maybe fish a tournament this Saturday coming up. Uh, if my brother's now we were talking about doing a tournament, so uh, I don't know. I'll get it out on the water and we'll see how she runs. Watching Abotello Outdoors. Welcome back, guys. Back. Yeah, my bro with me. We're gonna go out and test the boat. You've probably seen the video, just saw the clip of me putting the flywheel back on. But we're actually gonna go out and, and test it on the water and see how it's running. And if we gotta do more stuff to it, I don't know. It's always something. It seems like that boat is just always dumping money in it but if you want to fish you got to do it so hopefully the flywheel works good and we don't have no issues you know cranking it uh, I actually put the muffs on it and ran it with the water hose yesterday for a few seconds and it had cranked up pretty smooth so we're going to give it the uh, the ultimate test and put it on the water so uh, we'll be there shortly uh, probably just go run up to Aquila real quick and dock in right there. We might fish a little bit, you know. It's a bluebird sky today. The wind, there's hardly no wind. Four, four or five miles per hour today. Man, that's nice. The water's going to be nice. So we might get on something. Who knows? But uh, we'll be out there shortly. Oh, guys, we're on the water. 
And so far, so good. Sounds pretty good. Smooth. She sounds pretty smooth, actually. Sounds different. Actually. Yeah, a lot quieter. So, uh, we're fixing to go to some waypoints that we got, and uh, there's one of the trees right there. You see them? Yeah, okay guys, we're gonna just look around and see if we can uh, find some spots. Scan some, uh... We're gonna do a lot of scanning and just idling around. See if we can get on something. In there, in there. I'm just gonna tire him out. Come on, bro, hurry up. Yeah, it's, it's rolling, isn't it? It's not? Yeah, it is. Yeah. He's pulling the fucking drag. You got him on a crank back here. He's good. And I wanted to throw the walk before. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, he's made a good, good change. A good change, a good change of bait. You can't go wrong. Look at that hook. Barely one hook on there. Uh, <coughs> let me get my scale. Ah, he's not as big as what I thought he was. He just, he looked big. So we're doing a mock tournament? Huh? Let me see them pliers. I got some right there. Oh, guys. That's what we come out here to, to catch. Where'd you get them? Off those rocks. I said they're going to be on them rock piles. It's getting weight on him. Boy, he put out a good little fight. I fixed the, the scale. He's probably four pounds. Spawned out. Yeah. A lot all these fish are spawned out. I hate this thing. There it is. Let me clear it out. Four twenty one. Live well. Mock tournament, guys, mock tournament. Five best fish. Alright guys, we're gonna do a little mock tournament here. See if we can get on another one. That was fun, dude. Off a of crankbait, I hadn't caught a fish off of a crankbait in a while. Yeah. It's been a while. This used to be something I threw all the time. Cover water. Cover water. But the thing is, is this reel has, man, it's had its its share. I mean, I don't know if you hear it, hear it every time I cast. I think barons are going out on it. I'm waiting on you so we can get these rocks. Okay. Man. Way to be there with the net, bro. I didn't know where it was Way to be with, I mean, that's why I can count on you every time. That's why I can count on you. All right, we can go ahead and move. They're on, they're on these rocks, man. You can see that rock sticking out right there. I think he come out of there and just nailed it, man. Dang, I got a good backlash, man. Paying attention. This reel really, really sucks.
What is it? What do you think it is? Carp? It might be a carp, huh? I'll see if I can get a hook in him. Whatever it is, is hungry because it hits you twice, you know? You might have to take that plug and I think it's that under underspin. Show the viewers what you're throwing. I'm gonna show them what I'm throwing too. You got this uh Sorry, KBD. KBD? Yeah. With uh, a quarter ounce underspin. Yeah. Weighted belly with underspin. That's nice, nice setup. With KBD uh paddle, paddle Coffee scented? No, it's not coffee scented. And I went back to man, I have a whole arsenal of these Gary Yamamoto uh square bills. Used to catch fish all yeah. the time on these little baits, man. They probably go about Your three. Your ratio is going to be a lot better than mine right now. <gasps> Where was he at? Son of a motherfucker. I'm changing the bait, dude. Take this one more. Okay. <gasps> he pulled the hook off. I mean, he pulled it down. Ian, you don't think it's the plastic? It got too hot. 85 degrees feels like 100 degrees right now. Mm -hmm. No wind. No wind. Uh, man, it was a tough day. Uh, we missed a lot of fish. Well, I missed a lot with it. Yeah. That, uh, that underspin. Yeah. So you missed what about five or six of them? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we couldn't figure out how to to drive that hook, or they were hitting the actual blade of the underspin. Yeah, we don't know. Like they were and uh, I missed one on the Cinco. Uh, let me put my seat back on. And ended up catching one on the Gary Yamamoto bait, which y'all which seen. That was the only fish we caught. Yeah. So really, we came out to test the uh, the uh, the boat motor, and it, it ran fine. I think I'm having an issue with the choke. So that's another thing I got to look into, and we noticed another problem. Oh, uh, the trolling motor. Trolling motor, yep. It's like it was getting water in it. Yeah, like it's driving water up the shaft. I don't know. It's something I got to look into. And every time it drove water up into the shaft, <coughs> it seemed like it started stalling the motor, the trolling motor. So uh, I'm gonna get home, park the boat, probably park it for a while, and see if i can fix that trolling motor if not i just might have to buy a new one but it's not a priority right now so uh meantime we can just do jumbo yeah fishing. i'll probably just do some jumbo fishing i don't know the boat is costing me too much money so here hold that i'm gonna put my seatbelt on so that's kind of the plan that's what we're gonna do uh if it's an easy fix i'll fix it if not then boat will just be parked for a little bit until I figure out hold on Chris Chris the trolling motor so uh, I don't know just uh, stay tuned we got, we got traffic guys here so uh, all right guys till next time <coughs> all motel guys hours. we're back back at the house okay so I took water was getting all the way up into here and spewing out and we we're like maybe there's a seal somewhere over here but well, we took this whole trolling motor apart right here Barely got it back together because there's a series of gears mm -hmm. and two uh, cable pulleys. Yep. We got it back. And I was like, well, it couldn't be a seal right here. Messed up. So we got to the trolling motor. Bam. Okay. Took the trolling motor apart right here. It goes like this. It goes in there like that. Right here at the end was line. You can still see some of the fishing line. It was just spider webbed up in here. So we cut it out. And then we noticed there was a seal right here. This little seal right there, mm -hmm. it's broken. 
So we think the water gets in right there because when we pulled the pulled it out, pulled the whole motor out, I mean water just started like it was, it was just caked, I mean, caked, caked up in there. Just it was like a cup of water. Yep. And we poured it all out actually right there on top of that metal. Uh I don't know. Don't know too much about trolling motors. I don't think it's supposed to be water in there. Like the, that. Yeah, like you said. I don't know. I'm probably gonna go to a marine shop. This seal here too. This seal looks pretty war as well. I'm thinking it's that seal right there. I think we take this pin out right here, that can and then the whole way. the whole shaft will go up, and that washer will come out the back end. I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can find parts for it. Well, here. I'm not, like I said, I'm not making it a priority. For the meantime, the boat can just be down. But uh, if anybody knows anything on this, hit me up. I got a Minn Kota all, what is it, all terrain 65 pound thrust, 24 <coughs> volt. So uh, hit me up on our channel if y'all know anything about trolling motors and what that could be. I think we're on the right track. I think it is that seal, but we're not sure. So, uh, Hit us up. Let us know. All Botello Outdoors. Thanks for viewing, guys.